The Branded Frames Photo Contest Template allows contest participants to add a custom branded frame as an overlay to their uploaded image. To set this template up, start by editing this logo and these icons. They're being displayed by this navbar widget. Click the pencil icon to edit the widget. Click the pencil icon to edit the logo. Click the trash can icon to delete the image that's currently there, and the plus sign to open the Media Manager. When the Media Manager opens, upload or select your new image. If you like, update the URL it links to as well. You can also update the links to these social media icons. When you're done editing the navbar widget, click Save and Exit. To edit this text, edit the rich text widget called Headline. Edit this Enter text. Edit the text in any of these steps to participate by editing these three rich text widgets displayed by this three-column container. To edit the entry form, click on the Edit Form icon to open the Form Designer. Here in the Form Designer, you can add, edit, and delete fields in your entry form. To edit a field, click on it, and the field settings will appear here on the right. For example, you can edit the field's label here. In this Field Upload field, you can change which types of image files your form will accept. To configure how many times you'd like to allow each participant to enter in the form, click Entry Restrictions at the top. You can turn Entry Restrictions off or change the Entry Allowances. Set up an alert to get a notification when an entry is submitted in your form. When you're done editing your form, click Save and Exit. Next, open the Image Editor. Here, you can configure the ways in which your contest participants can edit their photo entry. By default, the image editor is set up to allow participants to flip and rotate their image. To upload custom frames, click the Frame option. There are three frames used in this template. To delete them, click the trash can icon. Next, click the plus sign icon to upload a new frame. You'll need to create frames outside of ShortStack. We recommend a minimum size of 400 by 400 pixels. The file type should be a PNG or a GIF with some transparent space for the uploaded image to show through. When you're done adding frames and configuring the image editor, click Save and Exit. The Entry Display widget is the widget that will display the entry submitted in the form. Under Voting, you can enable or disable voting as well as show a vote count. Click Restrictions to make any changes to how many times and how often you'd like to allow voters to vote. And also choose the method in which you'd like to restrict votes. Lastly, add some official rules to this rich text widget in the footer container. Once you've customized the content within your landing page, use the Style panel to customize the look and feel of it. Start by choosing a new theme. To replace this background image, select the container displaying that background and edit it here. Finish styling your campaign. When you're done styling your landing page, click Preview to test it out. When you're ready to publish, click Publish Campaign and follow the prompts.
As an option, customize the URL. Your landing page is live at this URL.